okay this is another question for straight line but actually this question will be will be a little bit more difficult than the usual question you will have a you you know in the past year means actually this straight line question will be a little bit more difficult only just a little bit don't worry okay of course this diagram actually is a little bit ugly because i draw it myself but then okay now but then all the features is still still the same okay means means what what i mean by feature like parallel means he say actually pt will parallel with x acid so you just assume pt is parallel with x acid okay okay so let's start have a look on the question okay he's of course here you see a diagram you will see x in uh, x acid y acid and actually you have four coordinate on last video actually i mentioned when you see the coordinate o here o o, o here actually is origin and origins will always mean the coordinate zero zero so in your exam make sure when you see o you write zero zero there okay and then he say pt is parallel to the x axis mean what means what so pt will parallel with x axis so i just drew a remark pt will parallel with x axis okay not only do the remark when you see whatever straight line parallel with x axis will means what will means one thing when parallel with x axis will means the gradients will equal to zero mean actually for the straight line pt will have the gradients zero okay when have gradient zero we can straight away name for this straight line this straight line will names y equal to four okay this straight line will mean will name y equal to four that's all okay if you not believe you can try to substitute okay i do a quick way to prove you why this straight line i can straight away say y equal to four okay because y equal to mx plus c is the formula for straight line and when gradients equal to zero means m equal to zero y will equal to zero multiple x plus c and then i substitute one point into it at point p three four so let's put the three and four into x and y so y will equal to four will equal to zero multiple three plus c therefore zero multiple everything you got zero and c will equal to four so i just put back the whole equation y will equal to four see so this will be the equation for pt okay but then this is not the one the first first thing okay and then we have to read finish question then we need to do that okay so after that he tell us pt will same length with the op pt equal to op when you see this kinds of equation in your question means actually they are mentioning is the length okay means actually pt will same length with op I mean actually these two lines have the same length okay so part a he asked us to find the coordinate of t so in order to find the coordinate of t you have to know how long is o op of course is if in m max you got another formula to find distance but then this is only max so you have a quick way to actually find op because you see the coordinate p is 3 4 will means what will means that if i draw a straight line 90 degree to the x axis you will means that actually distance for distance for here you will have 4 because 4 is the okay this is x this is y and distance for here you will get 3 okay you see coordinate 3 4 3 will means that actually here he will stop at 3 in this coordinate and 4 means actually here he will stop at 4 
So actually when you know this distance here is 4 and this is 3 from the Pythagoras, actually we know 3, 4 and this will be 5. Okay, if you don't know how to get 5, okay, I do a quick right down here so okay okay in order to find this one op square will equal to 3 square plus 4 square therefore will op will equal to square root of 9 plus 16 therefore we got square root of 25 and we have 5 for op Okay, this is the length for OP. Okay, if we know the length for OP, then it's very easy for us to get the coordinate T. Means, means what? Means actually, T is just 5 units away from P in the X. So, when this is 3, okay, we just use 3 minus 5. Then we can get coordinate for T. Therefore, I write here A for coordinates. Of t will equal to okay this one is 3 minus 5 okay this one is for x and then the y will stay the same because they are so straight line and parallel is x x as it means actually y will be same with 4 4 therefore 3 minus 5 you will get negative 2 and 4 see this is the coordinate for t okay when they are parallel with x acid means actually this straight line will, will have the same same y value means here all is 4 4 4 4 so obviously t you will have 4 okay okay then we do for part b part b he asked us to find the equation for tq okay in order to find the equation of tq you need to have the gradients in order to find gradient you need to have two coordinates one coordinate we have already negative 2 and 4 so i just write down here negative 2 and 4 is for coordinate t so we got two coordinate already We've, after we find gradients, we just substitute one of the coordinate, we can get whole equation. So I do it very fast here. So first thing we have to find gradient for TQ. So we're equal to Y2 minus Y1, 4 minus negative 1, divided by X2 minus X1, negative 2 minus negative 7. Uh, remember negative 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 multiple negative will get it positive so this one is 4 plus 1 you get 5 okay negative negative will get you positive so negative 2 plus 7 negative 2 plus 7 we will get 5 okay so 5 divided by 5 we will get 1 so 1 is the gradient for tq okay after that we just use y equal to mx plus c okay we substitute one point let's say we use coordinate q, q at q negative 7 and negative 1 okay then okay we substitute everything m will equal to 1 y will equal to negative 1 so negative 1 will equal to m is 1 x is negative 7 plus c so negative 1 okay, right negative 1 1 mu multiple negative 7 I got negative 7 plus C okay and then negative 7 move to this side we'll get positive 7 means 7 minus 1 I get 6 so C is 6 so now I got C I got M then I just substitute these two go back to this equation so part B I just write equation of TQ is y equal to x plus 6 okay why I write x only because one multiple x I will get back x so actually one you can just 
write x here so this is the equation for tq okay hope this question helped you thank you